guys, so we feel like we need to do an update video or, right? Yeah, update. <laughs> yeah, where have we been? It has been a very, very crazy summer. And um, yeah, where do we even start? I don't even know where to start because there's so many things that has just happened. And yeah. we really wanted to vlog, but there was just literally, it was just impossible with everything that was yeah. going on. Well, I guess we were coming up to summer, so this was back in May. We had told a friend of ours from college that he could stay with us for a while to get on his feet. Mm -hmm. um, so that was happening at the end of May. Yeah, which right. we've discussed with him, like, was it like February or March yeah, or something? Yeah. So we had told him a while back mm -hmm. it was all good. And then like a week before he came up here, we found out that her mom and her sister were going to come and stay with us for the summertime mm -hmm. because her sister was out of high school going off to college. So they wanted to come visit for a few months. Then a week after that, which is the same time that our friend came up here, we found out that her mom had uh, cancer. So yeah. she was diagnosed with um, a form of throat cancer. Yeah, and which I, I guess we've kind of informed you guys about in our vlog um, about that really sad news or whatever. But um, I guess we never really updated you as to like how serious my mom's cancer was and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, so she was diagnosed with like nasal pharyngeal cancer, which is cancer. Um, what would you say? Like in the head, like back in neck the throat area. Yeah. But your throat goes into basically the center of your head. Mm -hmm. um, so it's actually like up here mm -hmm. uh, in the back. And then you said stage four. Yeah, she was stage four, which sounds pretty serious. And it was, it was really serious. But uh, the thing is like the oncologist said, like with um, head and neck cancers, um, the staging is kind of broken and so um, even though it is stage four it is very curable like the success rate was what 90 did they something say? percent yeah and so we had really high hopes but the treatment that my mom would have to go through was really really intense um, and it required five days of radiation like Monday through Friday for seven whole weeks on top of like six hours of chemo every week for seven weeks and so um it was just yeah it was just really draining yeah that it, li it literally took up our entire summer because we live about like 30 minutes from the hospital that or the center that my mom was getting treated to so the driving there every single day on top of me being in my third trimester on top of peter working and so many other people living in our house because mm -hmm. at one point we had eight or nine people and no i think it was it was more than maybe that. like 10 because we like had 10. us edith yeah your mom your sister your sister <laughs> your sister's daughter your brother your sister's your mom's sister her two daughters and then but they daughter. were visiting us. They weren't staying. I'm like just saying it was period. like a max of 13 people at some points oh in time. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was just, I mean, it's just been a crazy summer. And I don't know. I just kind of look back over the summer and, and I just kind of, I don't know, chuckle, I guess. I don't know. You remember how we would pray for God to just, I don't know, show us a way to use our house to glorify him. Remember, we were praying that like all year um, last, year. last year and um, I don't know I just find it kind of funny yeah. that we did use our house like to the max to where I mean we, we had, had people in every single room sleeping on the literally couch literally on the couches blow up mattresses yeah you name it yeah so be careful what you pray for <laughs> yeah but um, I am just glad we are at the end of the chaos um it was good to see everyone, like my family. I haven't seen them in years, really. So it was good to have everybody together. But it was really draining just with everything else going on with my mom's treatments and everything. It was just, I think, too much. I, I wouldn't know. say it was too much, but we were definitely spread out really thin. Spiritually, emotionally, physically, mm -hmm. like you name it. Basically in all aspects. 
um, we were getting pretty stretched. Yeah. But now it's what September twenty first. Yeah. We have obviously us. We have Eli, who was born in August. Her mom's done with treatment. She is recovering very well. We're extremely thankful for that. Yes. Um, her one of her sisters. Well, one of her sisters did go off to college. The other is back in uh, North Carolina with her daughter. So they're gone. Mm-hmm. Um, and my sister came down from North Carolina to help me out because mm-hmm. I was going to deliver, and there was no way I could take care of my mom and take care of a newborn there was just no way because my mom needed a lot of attention she because the cancer was in her i mean head and neck it was just really tough radiation wise um she we had to basically force feed her made sure she eat her meals she was already like really underweight she was like 73 pounds and so she could not lose any more weight and so we had to I know she had a feeding tube placed in and all that stuff too. So, mm-hmm. yeah, just one thing it after was, another. It was seriously. kind of a nightmare. But yeah. I am thankful that the Lord has gotten us to the other side. I mean, I can definitely see the light at the end of the tunnel, and I'm so thankful. Like, honestly, I loved that God brought everybody to our house because there was a reason for that. But mm-hmm. I am so excited to have our house back to ourselves. Yeah. Um, yeah, if Jesus Christ wasn't a part of our lives, like if if we weren't actively trying to pursue Him, uh, I have no idea where we would be. Yeah. Because culturally, American culture, culturally, people don't do this. Um, people are more independent, et cetera, et cetera, um, and people are just naturally selfish. And whenever all of this occurred, if we weren't you know, somewhat founded in what we believe in, we would be all over the place. Yeah. Uh, so it's just been, it's just been a wild ride. So yeah, that's been our summer. <laughs> I don't even know why. I think I'm just crying from all of it. I don't know. But, <laughs> but yeah, that's been our summer and we are excited to jump back into our blogging routine that we promised that we never really did. She's excited <laughs> to jump back in the vlogging I am, routine. I am so excited. And, um, I, yeah. She's twisting my leg right now to sit here. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, I really hope that, um, you guys are excited that we are back, back, that we are back vlogging. And, um, we have our birth vlog. I can't talk tonight. We have our birth vlog coming up. I just need to edit that. And we have a couple other videos too, right? Or one one other know. video to upload after this. So, yeah. But we just really wanted to um, update you guys on where we've been all summer. My mom's cancer update and just... Life. Life in general. It's, so. been, it's been a tough May, June, July, August. Four months. Yeah. But um, anyway, my mom had her, she's getting three scans done. And so we will find out if she's cancer free, you guys. Uh, she had a scan done, was it yesterday? Like all the days just kind of blended Yesterday, together. no, on Monday. So two days ago, yeah. she'll have another scan on Friday, this Friday. And then the third and final, which is the big scan, it's is going to be after Thanksgiving in November, which is when we'll figure out green light, yellow mm-hmm. light, red light. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we, we should be able to find out some information next week because she has two more doctor's appointments next week. I'm seeing the two oncologists. So, um, so we'll see. We should be able to find out something. Um, and I am praying that she is cancer-free. Um, she is doing really well. She has no more pain. She's not on pain medications like she was before. So, there. I mean, that's that's very hopeful right there, I think. And she's... I mean, she's a lot more active. Um, so currently right now, we have my brother living with us. Peter's friend, who is going to move out in a couple weeks. And my mom is still living with us until she is cleared. And then she's going to go to California. So um, as of right now, we still have a lot of people in the house. But um, it is quieting. Is that a word? Quieting? Quieting down. 
a bit and um, we are just trying to enjoy this moment and poor Edith has just been I don't know all over the place too so it needs some uh, stability mm -hmm. there's been so much changing over the past several months that she's yeah. just been thrown for a loop uh, not sleeping through the nights anymore um, you know waking up crying and this was ever since we went up in May. Yeah. So we're we're ready for her to to settle back down and and get mm -hmm. back on a on a schedule. Not like yes. she's not on a schedule, but it's just kind of a weird yeah, schedule. Like sh I mean, it's just all over the place, mm -hmm. really. So uh, we are just ready to get back into the routine of things, and yeah, mm -hmm. that's about it. So. Anyways, I really hope that you guys, I don't know, kind of enjoy this video. It's kind of like a, I don't know what kind of video this is. It's just an update. Hopefully it's not too um, boring or anything Melan like that. Melancholy. I know. Yeah, that's the word. That's the word. So, yeah. But anyway, look forward to um, our birth vlog and a couple other videos. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Where are we going? We're going over here. Okay. Do you want to build a snowman? We'll go be a bear. Snowman.